Muhammad was clearly and indisputably a warlord. And so it isn't obvious to me what to make of that, except that it's bloody complicated. Well, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm sure you guys have been looking forward to the academic known as Jordan Peterson coming head to head, dialoguing, discussing, debating with the academic Muhammad Hijab. Amazing, fantastic, brilliant for the rest of us to watch, right? No, wrong! Because unfortunately and sadly it's not going to be taking place. Now I know what you're thinking, no problem, they'll reschedule. Well, this is the third time this has happened in six months. This is absolutely ridiculous. Jordan Peterson is somebody that is well known, yeah, when it comes to videos to do with LGBT as, and his books on psychology, he's known mate. Although he's good at certain things, he's been taking the absolute mick when it comes to Islam. Yeah, and that absolute P has been taken. When the founder of your religion spread that religion by the sword, it makes it rather difficult. And when your religion has been embroiled in a vicious civil war from the day of Muhammad's death, which is exactly the case in, in Islam between the Sunnis and the, and the Shiites. That war started literally the day that Muhammad died. It's very difficult for me to see how that can be reconciled with the claims that Islam is a religion of peace. This guy has time for ex-Muslims like Ayan Hirsi and Islam haters, yeah? It's obvious from her rhetoric, yeah? Sam Harris, also another Islam hater, Gad Saad, you know, very clear Islam hater, amongst others. And on the other hand, when you look at an orthodox academic Muslim, zilch, nada, zero, niet, non, nahi. Gad Saad, very good. I'm trying to think why. Yeah, yes, he's got some mental health issues going on, but the third time, wasn't because of a mental health issue. Muhammad Hijab is somebody who's number one an academic, grassroots, he's somebody that can articulate Islam. Is it not based and predicated on a fictitious, hypothetical, mythological state of nature? Good Lord. Very few people are in the position that he's in. In fact, I'm struggling to find one and it seems like Jordan Peterson knows this. The problem now is the third time Hijab announced and people were looking forward to it. Third time lucky, you know what they say. But they seem not to be taking the mick and the pee out of him. Seems like they're taking the pee out of our community. Bringing all these anti-Muslims and then when it comes time to bring on a Muslim. Oh, we cancel him. Yeah, he's not important. Yeah, you know what this has done. This has cost him his Muslim audience. That's what this has done. The amount of people that have been looking forward to that discussion. And let's face it, you cannot get away with calling the Prophet a warlord, making inaccurate statements about Islamic history and about the Muslims in general frankly. And when it comes time for you to speak to somebody, you just dismiss him. And I spoke to Muhammad Hijab and he said it was all done through his team. So Jordan Peterson didn't even have the audacity to apologize or explain himself. So what I would like you guys to do is tweet him. Yeah, he needs to know what the Muslim community has got to say frankly. Yeah, I'm sorry, you cannot get away with dismissing us like this. We're not just some fly that can be swatted away mate. If you cancel, you need to come out and explain yourself and we are going to be vocal. So go on Twitter, make sure you tweet him, tag him, you know what I'm saying? Don't be rude, don't go over the top, but make your feelings known because it's getting ridiculous now. He's just been saying these things unchallenged and the one moment that we get to put our narrative forward, nah sorry mate. And one thing let me tell you about Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab had a life-threatening illness not so long ago. This was about a month ago and even during his illness, obviously it wasn't public, now it's public news, but Muhammad Hijab was told that you could only have a week to live. Yeah, and my man was still studious, still stayed dedicated and didn't cancel. My man's losing his life there and this guy 
flipping can't even uh, bring his hand forward to type an email of apology. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it shows the commitment that we have and the commitment that these individuals have. Yeah, it really goes to show, frankly, they're exposing themselves when they do stuff like this. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.